G'day everyone, amazing to see that we're at the end of another big quarter and a few headlines definitely grabbed the, uh, the attention for the last quarter. Clearly the biggest one was the changeover of Prime Minister from um, obviously Malcolm Turnbull over to, to ScoMo so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out between now and the election. Um, this is amazing considering the fact that the Australian um, budget is in the lowest deficit in an over a decade and, and despite that positive news and the positives around the economy and those sorts of things at the moment, um, the Liberals obviously thought that uh, they were on a, uh, a downward spiral and thought it was an opportunity to change the, the, uh, the leader. So it's going to be really amazing and interesting to see how that plays itself out. Specifically on markets, so the last quarter was a relatively flat one, um, but over the rolling 12 months we've actually seen some good numbers and that's flowing through to portfolios which is really good. We saw some reporting season during the period um, and that's um, the attention really came towards the um, resource sector and, and companies such as BHP and, and Rio and talking about how the, uh, the positive um, resource prices have flowed through to their, uh, to their profits and those sorts of things. We've also seen obviously the banks being under a lot of pressure of late, uh, specifically with the Royal Commission but also with their lending practices and the tightening of um, interest rates overseas and funding of, of um, loans and, and cash flow to the banks. One thing I thought would be interesting to hear the banks talk about recently was the fact that they're, they're using technology to leverage their data that they're collecting within their systems and it'll be interesting to see how that plays out potentially could be a really positive thing because they have got so much data about their customers and their consumers about their spending patterns and all those sorts of things so they're looking to innovate and bring in new technology in relation to um, leveraging that and making that a profitable part of their business so that's a bit of a watch this space which I think will be interesting to see how that plays out. Another interesting topic which we expect to play out over the next six months or so is the uh, how some of the Australian companies are looking to, to pass on the franking credits that they've got on their balance sheets. Uh, clearly with Labor's policy looking at removing the ability to get a, a refund on franking credits, some of these companies are looking at strategies of, of getting those franking credits off their, off their books in a, in a tax effective manner to, to investors. We've already seen um, companies such as Woolworths look at special dividends and Rio looking at buybacks and those sorts of things, so we expect that to play out over the next few months. Overseas, clearly the, uh, the, the trade wars is the, is the massive topic and the big unknown at the moment in relation to international markets. Um, while these continue to play out, we'll see the pressure on clearly interest rates and also currency and, and the, the normal reaction I guess is that um, as, as interest rates overseas potentially continue to go up uh, while staying the same here in Australia that the currency in Australia te technically should go down. But what we are we are unsure about at the moment is the flow on effect really of the um, of the trade wars on interest rates and currency. So it's very much going to be a watch this space, and I guess really important just to get a true understanding of of what your exposure is and what your um, what your underlying investments are and and what the flow on effect could that could be. Some analysts are saying that Australia potentially could be in a good position with that as. Um, as you know, as the negotiations continue to play out and, and puts Australia, particularly in their resources um, sector, in a strong position, but um, it's really difficult to, to tell how uh, how it is going to play out. Um, as always, I hope you enjoy the report and um, and have a look at it. And, and, and if you've got any queries, feel free to jump on the phone and, and get in contact with one of the guys here. And also, um, I hope you enjoy the uh, the run up to the end of the year. And it's amazing to say. Um, running into Christmas. So all the best to everyone. I hope you have a good uh, rest of the year and we'll speak to you soon. Cheers.